Rosewood, a true trip report about Hawaiian baby woodrose seeds. In the late 70s and early 80s, when I was in my teens, I had a next door neighbor my age who was kind of a desperado when it came to illicit drugs. It seemed not only was this guy willing to try anything under the sun, but it was like he wouldn't rest until he had. He even tried getting high on nutmeg once. He told me he had consumed most of a container by mixing it into a slurry with tang orange drink mix and then chugging it down real fast before it had a chance to settle to the bottom of the glass. Something I'll bet NASA had never tried. He told me the taste was awful and the high was not very pleasant. He also said the worst part was that he tasted nutmeg for several days afterwards. He also told me he would never do nutmeg again and that now it was obvious to him why it wasn't a more popular way to get high. One unusual drug he had tried and was willing to do again was something I'd never heard of before, and that was a seed. He said it was completely legal, and he got them from an ad in the back of some magazine, I think. It also came with a cute and unassuming little name, which was Hawaiian Baby Woodrose Seeds. He said the high you got from these was almost exactly like that of the more widely known hallucinogenic shrooms, or magic mushrooms. He told me you just crush about 20 or 30 of these seeds and mix it with, yes, that's right, tang again, and chug it down real quick. So one sunny spring Saturday, we did just that. I must tell you, it was probably the worst tasting substance I've ever purposely consumed. Once the drinks were downed, we headed for downtown to do whatever. The town we lived in was on the larger side, but not quite big enough to be considered an actual city. Downtown itself was a relatively small area when measured in square blocks, so it was easy to get around on foot, and both of us being barely 16 years old and carless, we appreciated this fact. To wait for the seeds to take effect, we decided to smoke some weed, so we went to a local parking structure which was approximately five stories high. We went to the top floor because it had the least amount of cars and found a discreet stairwell in the corner and began smoking some of the weed my friend had brought. After only a hit or two, I began to feel extremely nauseous, and it was only getting worse. Suddenly, it was more than I could stand, and I leaned over and threw up, but just once. And immediately afterwards, I felt high. Very high. Be aware that the only illicit drug I'd ever tried up to this point was cannabis, so this was all new to me. But now the nausea was completely gone and forgotten, and replaced with the childlike awe I felt no matter where I looked. It was anything but unpleasant. In fact, I felt pretty damn good, mostly. There was just one small thing that began to bother me, and the more I thought about it, the more sure I was right in my observation. At the time, the feeling was so powerful, I thought, how could I possibly be wrong about this? The thing bothered me was this. I felt sure I had taken a drug like this before. The high felt so familiar to me that I was literally convinced that sometime in my past I had taken something very much like it. But the question was, when? I had no memory of doing it voluntarily, so that means someone else had to either given it to me or slipped it to me, and for whatever reason, I've somehow blocked out the memory. It didn't matter, really. I just knew somehow that I could not be mistaken. Now the question was, who would slip a small child drugs of this nature? My parents were completely anti-drugs, so I was fairly certain it wasn't them. I did have some cousins who were the right age and lived next door for a short time. I would have given one of the four of them the opportunity to do it. In fact, the oldest daughter used to be our regular babysitter for a while, so it could have been her. It drove me crazy all the rest of that afternoon trying to remember something that likely never happened. I've learned since that this sensation is not all that uncommon for the first time users. Yes, for unknown reasons, the high seems familiar somehow, even though the person has never had the drug before. For those interested, later on, I tried mushrooms, and my drug-induced friend was right. The high from those seeds is very much like that of magic mushrooms. I've since learned that their active ingredient isn't psilocybin, however, but something else that only feels like psilocybin. I've heard there may be a small amount of arsenic or strychnine or something similar involved with these as well, and that may have been the cause of my nausea, so I won't really recommend them. But if you can't resist, be smart and do some more research about possible complications involving these seeds. 
You don't want to cause yourself some kind of unwanted permanent harm, all just for a temporary high. In simple words, be safe out there and never trip alone. And of course, may peace infest your lives.